You're still watching ways now. Always playing precisely by the rules can get boring after a while. Not to mention how many creative thoughts can be lost forever if the authors are too busy obeying someone. Now, Disobedience Day is all about breaking free a little, living a little, and doing your own thing for a change, even if you don't have permission. Now, Disobedience Day does not mean that you should go out of your way to break the law for the sake of excitement, as that could be I mean, could prove dangerous in the short term and detrimental in the long term. This obedience day would, of course, mean something different to each individual. So spend this day doing things you've wanted to do for a while but have refrained from. Okay, well, ladies, who have you disobeyed today? Who comes up with this? I know I've disobeyed somebody today. Okay. Uh, our producer, I will disobey her today. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, I haven't disobeyed anybody, probably because I didn't know it was disobedience day. So now that I know, I will deliberately it's, disobey. It's coming to me. <laughs> so I, I need to disobey that day. in me anyway. It's in it for me, so I don't even need it. Every day is a disobedience day. <laughs> and the, the establishment. The thing for me is, I'm not a rebel. I'm like the good girl, like follow law ah, and order and everything. So, like, hold on. So I didn't get the memo of disobedience day, but now that I know, I'm like. So next time, check your <laughs> check your schedule for the month. The day is there by the time. You know what? At the end of the show, you hear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who are we going with first? I think we should go with um, AK. What's your story for today? Oh, so my my story is a story that everybody hears every time. And please don't say you're tired of hearing about coronavirus because you know that's my story. What my story is going to lean on. Mm -hmm. So. Governor Omar Ganduje of Kano State has said civil servants should come back to work. Oh my goodness. Yes, and this is Kano State where according to NCDC, they had about 1,257 cases. About that, we still have about um, 228 active. Now, remember there was a time people were, between M April, March and April, people were dying, like 500, and we didn't know what was killing them. Now, my, my thought is, are we non challenged about this virus or are we learning to live with the virus if we are not living with the virus, are we ready for the consequences when it is full-blown okay so I think you, I you don't you, you're, you're not in support of no of everybody going back, going back to the work. to work when you, you have not have really earned yes the and then you keep the curfew time for what because the virus is afraid it's of midnight sweeping. i mean Please, let's, states, states like lagos let's civil, not kill seven, it. civil <laughs> servants are not even back to work yet but if you have 228 active cases. I think that's that's the known. That's the known. Remember that when I said that people were dying, we did not know what was killing them. So let me not overflog it, Uwa, but that's my concern. Is that mm -hmm. are we ready? Are we ready? All right, so let me. What did you find for us in the news? Okay, this is about this is really um pathetic and I, I I I'm a bit um emotional about it because um Nigerian law school is one institution that I can vouch for that out of I know we have the issue of corruption in Nigeria, but you know there are still agencies, and you know that you can still vouch for. And um, Nigerian law school falls into that category because of the kind of extensive, um, um, extensive tuition and you know preparation that I got from the school. So seeing seeing it in the news today was a bit um, overwhelming for me. The kind of financial impropriety that's going on, you know, paying. Um, a cleaner. A cleaner, 32 million, dressing allowance, 52 million. You know, these are the kind of um, training we got from law school is even as a lawyer and you have, um, if, if there's any issue between you and your client when it comes to money and you misappropriate your client funds, it is enough for you to be derobed as a lawyer. So why would the law school that produces all the lawyers in Nigeria be enmeshed in this kind the of legal I, I can feel I, your pain. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's so shameful. Sorry. You know, I, I couldn't go on Twitter. You know, when you sent it to me, I was ashamed mm -hmm. that oh that institution produced. Ah, Paleo. This is introduced. Don't forget that you have to be a lawyer before you can be a judge. I think we'll have to, we'll have to bring the conversation some other time, but it's important yeah. because these are people that are supposed to be that lawmakers. Go, exactly. Yeah. They are supposed to protect the laws. They are supposed to share it. Yeah, exactly. so they are people, people, because people are calling out for resignations, calling out for... They have to prove and them. And rightly yeah. so. Yeah. And rightly and so. Sorry, sorry. Quickly. And the problem is, it's been going on for a long time. This matter was in 2013. Mm. So why are we waiting for 2020? It means between 2013 and 2020, a lot has been going on. Yeah. All right, Sansi, what did you find for us? Wow. Anyways? Okay, moving away from that drama. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the drama on our roads. Ah. So in uh, today's... Um, did I say broadcast? My goodness. Punch Daily. Um, the big picture in front of the, the Daily Today Punch is a picture of um, 
Lagos Ibadan Express Road around Ish, um, Isheri area, and the road is like really bad, almost turning into a gully. So with the headline that um, Nupeng, Nigerian Union of Petroleum um, and Natural Gas, is giving the federal government an ultimatum of two weeks for them to fix the bad roads um, across the country and also to end the harrowing experience that truck drivers, petroleum truck drivers, go through, you know, extortion and just the accidents. Because part of what causes the accidents are the bumps and the gullies on yeah, the road. Yeah, navigate, navigating it. And yeah, that, yeah. yes. For big trucks, yeah. So um, they're giving the federal government an ultimatum. And um, obviously, we know that the only means of moving petroleum in Nigeria is via roads. So it's very important that we have sleek roads. It would help a whole lot to stop the accidents. Wow. That what was wow. the repercussion? If not, they would go on strike. strike. I was waiting strike. for that. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know how strike to Corona? <laughs> this is not funny. It's not funny. No, but guess what? what? But on a serious note, is it realistic for you to give somebody two weeks <laughs> ultimatum to fix this? Well, thing? I think no, they're no, trying no, to no, get the truth. attention. No, no I, and I think that is where I want us as citizens to get wise. Let us be realistic. We suffer Do you understand? Who it is, you know it is absolutely wrong for you to see this kind of work and you say you are giving two weeks ultimatum. How possible Terrible. is this? My yeah. opinion is that in the first place, they don't even have the local standi <laughs> to make such a claim against the government because we all know that part of the problems we have on our road today is the movement of these heavy trucks. We are not, the main problem is that petroleum pro, um, products are not supposed to move by the road. It's going to it give them to the alternative. No, they want to. No, no, no. Okay, okay, let's let's blame the hold on, hold on. Hold on. No, hold on. no, no, hold on. One what one I'm house. saying now is, it is not particularly about ultimatum. What they should be talking about is refurbishment of the pipelines. That is the only solution they have. Okay, it so is never I going to we, work. Thank, thank God we have the Honorable <laughs> Minister because this is directly linked to him. So let me, can I take my story now? Yes, please, please do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my story is actually um, a bit of um, positive news. For those that are, are infected with the COVID-19, um, they say that the people that are having um, symptoms, that um, the, they have altered sense of smell, they recover quickly. Studies have shown that they recover very quickly. Wow. Um, yeah, and the recovery is within four weeks. So if you've, if you've had that, and maybe that's your only symptoms, loss of smell and taste, you recover with, within four weeks. And um, I think some of them have um, about 48% of them fully recover, uh, while 40.7%, they see an improvement. Only 10.6%, um, the cases is unchanged and it, it gets um, worse. I think the name of this infection will be the, whatever it's called, covid cov to infection, SARS-CoV-2, I think that's okay, so the... so it's a particular, it's a particular strain, strain that has yeah. to do with their respiratory Yeah, respiratory strain. I think quite a number of people have... So it's a good it. news, yeah. I think <laughs> you know so. why it's so? You know why it's so? There was a um, radio station I was listening to, this radio show, mm -hmm. and that was part of the... That was a topic. Uh, if you've experienced that in the last few weeks, please call in. And everybody that called into that show had that symptom. Mm. But Lam, you know, you can just sit down because somebody said just something, you've started. It's like, oh, I have the yes. <laughs> Do you know, in my mind, I started talking, like, thinking about it. I didn't can I breathe well? That. Can, can I breathe well? Listen, that. this is what works for me. I shut out everything. No, like, I think with COVID-19, if you know, see, because if you know you've done all you can do, you just, I mean, leave the rest of God. Because yeah. look at the Health, um, health Plus um, CEO. Look at the lengthy write-up mm. that um, Fumi sent. I keep saying Irrespective it. Irrespective of I mean, everything he had everything. Did. I mean, he mm -hmm. owns a, a, a chain of uh, pharmacy. Or oh, is it she, right? Yes, a, cha a chain of pharmacy. So they had put every measure in place. She had all Nozman, the vitamins everything. at her so, disposal. Everything. So I was and yes. shocked. Like, why are you saying that? She's not shocked. No, she had right. all of it at her disposal. Okay, so, you can't uh, be too careful. We'll go on a quick break. Mr. Baba Tunde Raji Fashola, SAN, will join us right after the break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.